Alright, just another short video on edge geometry and things. This is a nice Swasami. I've actually just reprofiled and thickened this knife. So I've thickened this quite strongly. I basically cut the entire edge off that I had, reground it at a very steep angle, which after measuring it turns out to be about 21, 22 DPS and about six thousandths thick. And um, you can see it's sharp. We'll try it on this stuff. It's harder to cut through stuff like this when the knife is thick. But if I support it, you can see it's actually very sharp. It's just a thicker geometry. And uh, let's try a couple of things I did with the other knife that was much thinner geometry. So the kebab stick. did not cut. Let's see if we can get a focus on there. This never likes to focus but it's basically shattered in half. Doesn't want to focus that close in macro mode. Yeah it won't focus but it's shattered it. It's snapped in half. Um, I'll link a photo of what that looks like. We'll uh, try another one from the other end so I don't ruin that one for the photo. So compare that to the cutting before. The same bottle, very rigid plastic. It's not super thick plastic but it's been molded in a way that's very durable. Now, I don't want to hurt myself and I really can't explain the amount of force required but in the other video I just took a shaving off the side so can you see how the bottles compressing under the force it's just folding under the edge it really doesn't want to go in and uh, let's try it up here different spot see how the entire bottles just folding and compressing. I uh, finally managed to rip in. And once I finally get into it, it's actually a hell of a lot of a struggle. The edges are not crisp and clean at all by any measure. Not great. Just as a quick double check, this is my CRK and Pinder which I've reprofiled. Haven't even tested this before doing this but let's find out. So not as thin as the other one, but thinner. Got through that pretty good. And uh, this is why I find that if you really use your knives a lot, you're not going to make them so thick to try and protect them. You're going to want to make them at a geometry that cuts easily. That actually, interestingly, even though it's a much thicker edge, if I do that carefully you'll see it got damaged on the kebab stick or the plastic bottle because so much force required to go through that it deformed the edge a little bit. I'd have to show that on a microscope but won't do that now. But yeah, so you know sometimes going too thick can actually one make it too hard to cut and two you end up with more damage because it's too hard to cut. So there's some interesting things to consider. And if you want to experiment with this, just go buy the cheapest knife you can and the most garbage steel you can. Make it as thin as you can and see what happens. So, yeah, that was the video. I need to thin this one down again because at 6 thou, at 22 DPS, while it will cut, I press the printer paper, and it will cut my sellotape and it will probably open a box with a little bit of effort it doesn't cut not to what I would call cutting it's um, let's try and see what's happening is it's getting about quarter or halfway through and then it can't it just wants to s snap and you see it ends up snapping where I was holding it 
not where I was trying to cut it too much force. That's it for today. Thanks.